You thank New Orleans. You thank Bourbon Street and Beignet, Jazz and Creole, Mardi Gras and Mask. To UCF, it's Evans, Hayes, and a second home. Focused and fresh off the bye week, the Knights made their way to the Big Easy for the first time since 2015. Prepared for a different result, UCF looked to give the Tulane Green Wave their first home loss of the season. No easy task, but this talented, high-powered roster knew they had something to prove to their opponent the fans, and most importantly, themselves. The rain didn't last. Night Nation showed up, and so did the sun. Time to play some ball. Be the aggressive guy, be the aggressive unit, be the aggressive team for 60 dang minutes, all right? Point team! Point team. And UCF and Tulane from New Orleans is underway. Staving off a wave of 13 plays, and forcing a missed 38-yard field goal attempt, UCF Fierce set the tone in the first half. No good, he missed it right, and Tulane gets nothing on the opening drive. Defense bends, but does not break. A Dylan Barnes 35-yard field goal put the Knights on the board first. The Knights' next possession put them in the end zone and started a career day for junior wideout Marlon Williams. 23, dropping, looking, throwing, pass is caught by Marlon the 10. He's to the 5, he walks in, touchdown, Marlon Williams will score from 23 yards out. And the lead 9 0. The Knights in the Green Wave exchanged drives and filled positions several times before Tulane found their way into the end zone after they were awarded with a short field. Four plays. Eighty yards and some textbook downfield blocking later. The juice. Otis Anderson found six. He's inside 25, 20. He's free to the end zone. 10, 5, touchdown. Otis Anderson with some fancy footwork. The nation's leading tackle for lost defense rounded out the half. The only way they know how. In the opponent's backfield. Up to the 35, Eric Mitchell makes the first contact and Stephon Hunterson is dropped. Wow, that's a big Welcome time home hit. to the New Orleans native who just thrills Darius Bradwell who's trying to make that catch. Oh, this room is going to be our legacy now. What's going to be your legacy in the second half on defense? Okay. No matter what happens, if they don't score, we win. That's what you got to say to yourself. They don't score, we win. What's going to be your legacy to get it done? Everybody understand that? All right, let's have a good one now. Remember, our legacy on defense is predicated on what we do in the second half. Everybody good? Everybody good? The second half saw points for both teams, 41 to be exact, and the scoring started early. the end zone, receiver down there, pass is going to be caught by Marlon Williams. He's down at the one-yard line. And Darrell keeps it. He's in touchdown. Darrell Mack. On the fake to Bentavious Thompson. Tulane gets three. They make it a seven-point ball game. A one-possession game late in the third. The Knights put the ball in their hands of their shifty playmate. 25, 20, Otis inside the 20, and the wrap of the bound at about the 16-yard line. Fourth and goal. Ball on the two. Who do you go to? Snap. Mack rolls out, looks through. One reception, one touchdown, pure elation. Great young man, too. Uh, getting to know him, you know him. What a great oh, man, personal, he he's just a great goal. The American honor roll quarterback found his star receiver one last time for 40 yards and set up the eventual game-winning three points. Kick on the way, it's up, and the kick is good. Touchdown, Tulane. Dribbles it forward, it's loose, it's still loose, and... Now, 
He did go 10 yards. So it is an illegal touch on their kicker is what the replay does show. And the Knights will take a knee and win it 34-31 and get out of here with a win. Knights will win it 34-31 in New Orleans. Another win. Another goal to achieve. Enjoyed, but never taken for granted. One team! One team! Thanksgiving and Rivalry Week. There's a lot to be thankful for. And we all know what's at the top of Knight Nation's list. 